Hello Capricorn and welcome to my page messages for Venus and welcome to your reading for August 11, 2018 which is the new, the new moon which also happens to be the solar eclipse. Um, please make sure to check out your astrologers and any announcements that I may have and just any other videos I might have that um, will interest you. So let's see what is in store for you Capricorn. Let's see what's in store for you um, for this new moon. Positive Capricorn, try to keep yourself in a positive mood in the face of adversity. And sometimes staying positive means cursing a few people out as well. Okay, this whole I don't curse people out situation is not true. You kind of have to curse people out. Queen of Swords, curse people the fuck out. Okay. <laughs> if you gotta tell somebody their business and you gotta read somebody, then read somebody. Okay. Okay. And this is not your card. Hold on. <laughs> I apologize. Sometimes I do that. For Capricorn. I feel like it's in my this one. Okay. La da di da. No. I'm sorry, that's not your message. It's not like an overall message. It's probably like for one person as opposed to like other people. Okay, Capricorn. Excuse me. <laughs> so we have um, hurtful separations and situations within relationships, breakups. Um, stagnation within uh, recuperation. Oh, stagnation be, um, within recuperation of relationships or reconciliations within relationships. Um, and it's something that you have to talk about. It's something that you have to speak on. If you are waiting for somebody to send you a message and you see that a week, two weeks have passed by, then and they're not responding to you or they're not saying anything to you, then it's your t time to respond. Um, I also feel like even at work, things are just not working out with your relationships. But I feel like things, um, as of right now, they're not supposed to be working out with anyone unless you have things worked out for yourself. So if you disappoint yourself and you find yourself um, putting yourself in certain situations or with people um, or, or, or next to people that disappoint you, why you have to question yourself as to why you have this energy or why you allow yourself to have this energy why do you allow yourself to be around people that disappoint you constantly um you have to ask yourself that and then this way you open up new doors and new space for people that aren't going to disappoint you now i have surrender press surrender pros, procrastination uh, now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off taking action will attract success and the queen of swords is also an energy of action as opposed to just the thought but she does act on her thoughts. Um, and it's a time for you to, to move along, to move things forward. If this stagnant energy with the Three of Swords and your Two of Cups isn't working out, whether that be something as small as dealing with a cousin who ha who, whom you haven't spoken with or someone whom you haven't have, had a communication with in a long time and you want to like part the seeds and actually start up the co communication, then great, then do so. It can be as simple as that. But make sure that you keep on the communications with people uh, and, and close doors and then open other doors. Know to close doors off and then open other doors for other people, places, and situations. Don't just stay stagnant. Procrastination opens the doors to stagnation, and that's no good. You have to be fluent. You have to be in constant uh, movement, whether it's ebbing or flowing, but you have to be moving. Um... So I will see you guys in the next video and I hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> Bye.